so fine in camera. It's actually very fine too. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here please hit the subscribe button so you're notified whenever I post a new video my name is Silen today we're going to be doing peplum top and I'm using my favorite fabric for this um, no sew DIY by the way if you haven't seen my previous no sew project please click the link right here this is the fabric I'm going to be using for this um, no sew DIY it's um, it's called scuba fabric yeah scuba fabric and it's the thick scuba fabric yeah, this is my favorite fabric because whenever i use this fabric for my no sew projects i find that the videos have more engagement so i don't know <laughs> i personally love this fabric and that's what i'm going to be using today it's a solid fabric meaning that there's no clear distinction between the right side and the wrong side so both sides are identical and it's also um, self-finished, so I've already cut it with the scissors and it doesn't fray. So that is the fabric I'm going to be using for today. If you want to purchase this exact fabric, you can click the link in the description box down below. I'm going to put a link for you to purchase this fabric. So let's get into the video. Okay, um, this is the illustration that I'm going to use today. I just want you guys to really understand what I did. So the first thing I did was fold the paper in half and then I'm folding it yet again. Now I'm cutting a curve. I'm going to show you guys the measurements that I would use for this. Now taking one side, the folded side, I'm just marking at, along that um, fold just so that I can get the center of um the fabric or center of the semicircle and now i'm cutting out the armholes again i'll give measurements for this shortly and now separating the fabric to make it, to make sure that i'm cutting only the top one I'm just cutting along that line I marked. And this is what you have. Now, I've already folded my fabric in half, just like I did with the paper. And now I'm folding it again. I'm just turning the fabric so it's easier for me to mark from where I'm staying and now the length of this um, jacket peplum top is 30 inches and that's what I'm marking so I just kept the zero mark static at the um, top left edge and then I'm moving the rest of the tape around or across the fabric and as I move the tape and get the 30 inches mark I'm just marking that with my pencil now I'm cutting along um, that um, curved line that was created from marking that 30 inches um, across the fabric now just like i did with the paper i'm just marking along that fold and that will give me the center of the um semicircle or the center of the fold
so i'm just unfolding the fabric now as you can see it it's definitely a semicircle and i've already marked the center i hope you can see the line in the center but if you can't i did mark in the center now i'm placing six and a half inches in on that center line and then towards the left where my zero mark is i'm marking the zero uh, mark and then by the right i'm marking the 13 inches mark now this is the um my shoulder measurement actually my shoulder is 14 inches but for this diy i chose to use the 13 inches now the length of my armhole is 3.5 inches and that's what i'm marking now and i'm just tracing a line downwards In that same length 3.5 inches at the other side as well and then tracing the line downwards now the width of my armhole is 3 inches and that's what I'm marking now and I'm just connecting that um, those points basically again it's 3 inches so I'm marking at the 0 mark and at the 3 inches mark and I'm just tracing um, um, the line or the curve that comes when I do that. And now I'm just cutting along that um, curved line I marked. And that will give me my um, armhole. Doing the same thing with the other side. Now recall that um, I marked 13, 13 inches for the shoulder. Now the reason why I put placed six and a half inches at the center line is because half of 13 inches is 6.5 inches. I just thought I should clarify that. Now I'm just cutting along that um, line that I marked earlier. And this is what we have basically. So this is a jacket peplum top. I choose to call it a peplum top. I love how it looks when it's a peplum top. And I'm just cutting the belt now. I marked 16 inches for the length and the width of the belt is 2 inches. So I'm just marking that 2 inches all along the fabric. And now I'm just cutting along that line. Don't forget to subscribe guys. It supports my channel. And it's free, okay? Thank you so much for subscribing and liking this video. And leaving a comment down below. And sharing it with your friends. And having gotten the belt, we are done. Thanks for watching.